What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got another project. I've got a uh, 07 LTR 450. I just picked it up last night. Um, one owner bike. Uh, it's a not in bad shape, but it's a little rough. Uh, it's a little dirty. Uh, we're going to be cleaning uh, the entire frame. We're going to be uh, sanding and restoring the plastics like I showed you in my Raptor video um, and in the YFZ 450 video. So overall, just going to be making it look a lot nicer, cleaner. Uh, there's a small oil leak, so we're going to be fixing that. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so I figured I'd give you a closer look at the machine here. So main focus today is going to be uh, these plastics. Like I was saying, they're just real, uh, real scratched up. So we're going to be sanding those down um, the frame. Also where your boot rubs, uh, I have a paint that's pretty darn close to that, that stock uh, dark blue. So I'm going to be touching that up. Uh, same thing on the, the A-arms, you know, you've got the typical uh, scrapes underneath from branches and stuff hitting. So I'm going to be taking care of that. Um, just a really good bath, a good cleaning. And uh, really just the plastics and the frame is going to be the main focus. The rest of the bike is actually in pretty good shape. Um, wheels are, are pretty clean, but we're still going to hit those, but overall not a bad machine. So, uh, oh, and then we have this oil leak here too. Looks like somebody was already in there, but that main oil line right there going in is leaking pretty good. So we're going to pull that, uh, there's a bolt right under here. We're going to pull that off and see if there's an O-ring or something in there. And if it's shot, we're going to replace it and then probably have to put some, uh, some more RTV on there to seal it back up. So let's go ahead and start washing her and uh get her cleaned up all right guys so i got the bike all sprayed down what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with the 400 grit on the back because those are really scratched up and then i'm just gonna use a 600 on the front just to get it nice and smooth and prepare it for the plastic renew that we're gonna apply so i'm gonna uh sand with the back with 400 and then sand the front and get it all nice and uh nice and smooth All right, guys, so I got the uh, passenger side, just started sanding it down, already making good progress compared to the other side, but pulled the seat, and underneath the seat is really nasty, so I've got some uh, Pearl Power. I'm going to spray that. I've got um, a rag in the uh, holes for the air box, so I don't get any water or anything into the air box, and then I'm just going to put this Purple Power on, let this sit for a little bit, agitate it with a brush, and then uh, wash it off, so it should make a big difference. All right, and another little trick I like to use is I... Um, I use these magic erasers, especially on the white plastics. They do a really good job because I've already sanded this down, but you can still see there's those little scratches that you can't really feel them. They're kind of superficial, but they hold dirt. So what I do is I spray them with the, um, the greaser and then you just hit it with a magic eraser. And what it does is it gets all the dirt out of those little scratches. And then when we go to apply the, pro the plastic renew, it'll seal them so you, you'll never get dirt in those little scratches again. And you can see it really gets rid of all the dirt in those scratches. So I'm going to keep working on that. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. All right. So we got most of the bike cleaned down. Plastics are looking a lot better, nice and clean. A few scratches still, but nothing compared to what it was before. Also cleaned under the seat. <clears throat> got a little more scrubbing there to do. And then I've got to go and uh, clean the underside of the seat as well because it's pretty nasty. Um, and then we will get into uh, applying the plastic renew to make the uh, plastic shiny. All right, guys. So it is nighttime now. Um, touching up the frame where the uh, paint was all rubbed off from where your boot goes. I got this uh, Duplicolor uh, perfect match that's pretty damn close to the frame color. So That'll make a big difference. Um, when I get done with the frame, I'm going to do the bottom of the A-arms. Uh, this way those look good. So i got both sides working here. i got two coats on. i got one more coat to do. And then uh, she should be good to go. So we are almost done, guys. And she is looking a lot better already. Much cleaner. All right, guys. So we are pretty much all done. Uh, I was going to plastic renew the plastics, but I'm actually going to get some OEM graphics. So I'm going to wait until I get the graphics before I plastic renew the plastics because then I can just go right over the um, the graphics and, and shine the plastics up. But I did hit them with some SC1. So they do have a nice shine, nice gloss to them. Uh, touched up the A-arms. Uh, I didn't paint them yet. Uh, I'm going to here uh, probably tomorrow once I have some more daylight. But um overall came out really great much better um frame is touched up now too 
So that, you know, matches and it's not all scraped up like it was before. Uh, put some SC1 on the plastics and um, all the controls up here as well to shine those up. Put some tire shine on the tires to clean them up. Same on this side. Got that nice and, and shiny. So, yeah, overall, super happy with the way it came out. This might be a bike that I keep here for a little bit. So uh, I love these LTR just because of how they sit, their stance. You know, they're nice and low and wide. Uh, plenty of power, even stock. I mean, these things are just monsters. So um, this might be one I keep in the fleet here for a little bit. Uh, I think I fixed the oil leak as well. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I uh, fixed the O-ring. I put some, had to put some RTV there because even when I replaced the O-ring, it was still leaking. So uh, hoping that once the RTV dries, I won't have any more oil leak and then this thing will literally be turnkey and ready. So uh, yeah, super happy with the way it came out. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please, you know, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to grow my channel. So, uh, you know, I appreciate the love and support and I'll see you guys on the next one.